what is acupuncture? The answer to that question is more complex than you might think. Uh, literally, acupuncture is putting a needle in a point on the body to bring about a physiological, emotional, biological change. But most people, when they talk about acupuncture, are referring to a whole body of knowledge that lies behind uh, why you choose which points or how you determine which points would be helpful. It can also include types of massage, types of dietary recommendations, uh, a method of diagnosis, treatment methods that don't use needles at all. Um, so most people use if they say I'm going to see my acupuncturist, they're talking about a healthcare practitioner trained in Asian and Oriental medicine or Asian medicine that will use a variety of methods to make a diagnosis and treat illness or dysfunction. Okay, so the needles come in different lengths and different diameters. I use pretty thin needles. All of my needles are pretty thin. Um, and they come sterile, disposable, single-use package. And so these needles come in a tube. I don't tend to use tubes for insertion much, but some, some people, if they're sensitive to needles, that using the tubes are better. If you're using a tube, you just like put the end over where the acupuncture point is, and then you would tap, and the needle would go into the point. Um, so these are the thicker needles that I use, and they're still pretty thin. Uh, I don't know if you can even see that. Um, and then the green needles are thinner, and they, they even come thinner than these, but they start to get kind of pretty hard to insert when they're thinner than that. So that's a green one. You can't really, I mean, when I'm using them, I can tell that one's thicker and one's thinner, but it's, I think probably on camera, it's a little hard to tell. And then there's different um, lengths too. So you'll usually only insert a needle half its length. So these are one inch needles, I'd go to a half inch. If I'm doing a point, like by the nail, there's not very much flesh there, and sometimes they go in so little that the, like the weight of the needle would pull itself out of the point. So I'll use a shorter, a half inch needle, and then I can go half that length. But even even then, by the nail points, it's just barely in at all. And then some they also make longer needles. Like sometimes there are some techniques that do really deep needling where I'll go in deeper, which. I don't do. So anyway, and I've got the thinner needle, the green needles also in the shorter length. That's pretty much all the needles I use. Just wipe it off with alcohol to clean the point. And I'm going to feel for where the point is. Just put the tube there. I'm just going to tap. And then this point is a little bit deeper, so I would want to see if I can do it so you, I'm not blocking it. I just go to where... There it is. Okay. I first considered um, acupuncture for myself when um, actually one of my doctors suggested it for chronic pain. And that was when I was living in another state. And um, she recommended a particular acupuncturist. Um, about a year ago, I developed um, a viral infection in my ears. And I still had a lot of the symptoms. Um, I had ringing in my ears. Um, I had vertigo. I had trouble, you know, turning my head without getting dizzy. Um, I had developed a, a twitch in my eye um, just from the stress of not being used to having my, my ears ringing. Um, and I, uh, I wanted to get better. I wanted to be like I was before. For me, the biggest difference is uh, related to chronic pain and uh, a reduction in pain levels. Um, it means that I can use less prescription medication. Um, after my first appointment, uh, the twitching in my eye, where I was having it uh, daily for long periods of time, it was even uh, making my vision quiver, um, it diminished a lot and with each week's treatment it got better and better and I don't have any twitching in my eye now. Um, my vertigo 
is gone. Um, the ringing in my ears is much quieter than it used to be. Um, I feel more grounded. I'm at uh, more peace with myself and my daily activities. Um, I don't feel as stressed as I used to. I, uh, I think for a while now, any ringing that I have in my ears has been really quiet. After your treatment today, are you noticing any difference? right away or not yet? Um, I, I feel about the, the way that I normally do after an acupuncture treatment, which is a little bit um, more energy and at the same time like a little bit more calm, but I don't notice anything um, dramatic. So one thing that I, I do come across, it's sort of one of those misconceptions, I guess, is that, oh, because Western medicine can't explain it, it's all mysterious or it's you know, I can't think of a good term for something that should, they should just be discarded. But we're finding out all the time that Western medicine, what they thought they knew about how things work is, is only a teeny little piece of the overall picture of health and well-being. So I think, I think so much more of how acupuncture works is going to be discovered over time and that really a lot of what we do or how we understand health is, is going to have an impact on Western medicine. So just like before Semmelweis in, invented the microscope, people thought the idea of germs or bacteria or viruses was, was crazy um, because the tools weren't there to measure it. But the reality was he was onto something. He just couldn't yet prove it in a way that convinced people. And I think that's going to happen a lot with uh, Asian medicine and acupuncture as well.